Hey all and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutzy Gaming. This is a quick video on how to run Phantasmal Fortress as quickly as possible for as much profit as possible over the weekend. Now for people that aren't aware, on a Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, if you run Phantasmal Fortress, you have a chance to get an Enchanting Stone rank 5 drop at the end. Now I don't know if it's just my bad luck, but I find Thursdays the drop rate seems to be lower than at the weekend, so maybe it's superstition, but I only run these on Saturday and Sunday. So the way you get keys for this is you will get a quest or two where you can complete them. Then once you run out of quests, you'll need to buy a key to get in. Now the keys come from the campaign store. They cost 10 Vanguard scripts each. Now you get three scripts every time you run it. So four successful runs and you'll be able to buy another key anyway. If you need more Vanguard scripts, the ways to get them are the Dread Legion skirmish. You get them from the chest at the end. It's a really quick skirmish to do. You get them from doing all your dailies in the Dread Ring. You can trade in the Onyx Fragments that you pick up in the Dread Ring for these. And you can also buy and trade in Genie's Gifts if you get desperate. So the things I will say before you start farming is it helps to prepare because you want to do this as quickly as possible with no gaps in between. So however many scripts you've got, buy your maximum amount of keys before you go in. Also equip any mount power or feat that gives you movement speed. And I would also say if you're just farming for these, don't run around and stop to make sure you pick everything up. You just want to go in the quickest possible path through the dungeon. So I'm going to comment along a run I've done and just explain a couple of things that can help me knock quite a few seconds off of your run. So we've come in here, you just literally run straight up the stairs, kill these three adds and then go forwards and activate the portal. You can skip this cutscene. Then when you load in, you're going to need to run through a couple of doorways and you're going to have two groups of ads to kill. So the first one is in this doorway and then the second one will be just around the corner. Once you've killed those ads, you go straight through the door without getting stuck on carts. Now you may be quicker because I'm on Xbox, I don't have a 1X and I don't have a solid state drive so my loading times are really slow. So again, you've got one group of three ads here, kill those and run through. As you can see, I'm not stopping to pick up the stuff that drops. Now as we go around here, we want to stick on the right hand side because there's a group of mobs that we can avoid. So you run around this pillar and then you jump over these barrels. You'll kill all these mirror images, you'll run around the corner and then three more ads come out, you'll kill these as well. Once they're dead, again, stick to the right hand side because we don't have to kill this group of mobs. Again, don't get stuck on scenery like me. And that's all the, the enemies that you have to kill this whole dungeon. You now go straight up the stairs and into the final boss room. Now, depending on what level you are, you want to get the boss down as quickly as you can because he does regen health, but he is really weak. And if you're at any half decent level, you'll kill him in a couple of hits. Once the boss goes down, you just wait a second and then the crystal will spawn. You kill that crystal and that's the end of the dungeon. And then you just go, collect your chest, get your rewards, leave through the exit portal and then requeue. Only thing I would say, I would leave a couple of seconds in between leaving and going in because I've had a few occasions where I was maybe too quick for the server and I've gone in and all the enemies are still dead. You get to the end, you can't loot the chest and you have to abandon it and you lose a key. So if we look at the time for that run, it was 2 minutes 17 seconds. Now if I had either a solid state drive or a 1x, I wouldn't have the loading times and I'd probably get down to about 2 minutes 10 seconds. But I know my character is end game, so it might kill stuff quicker than other people. But on average, there's no reason, unless you've got a really, really low level character, that you shouldn't be able to run this in 2.5 minutes. And that's door to door, that's getting in and out and then resetting and doing it again. Now I've found the drop rates for the enchanting stones, for me personally I've done about 200 runs and it's about 1 in 4. So that means once every 10 minutes you're going to get an enchanting stone that's worth, at the moment on Xbox it's 40k on the auction house. So that's 36,000 AD after tax and that's every 10 minutes. So you do that for an hour and you're talking around 200k AD profit. Now it is very boring but it's very easy to do, you don't even have to pay attention. You put some music on in the background, you do it maybe for an hour on a Saturday and an hour on a Sunday. Any more might stretch your patience, but that's 400k AD that you've earned really, really easily. 
It's also a really good way if you decide that you want a particular item and you're willing to grind for a few hours, it's a good way to make AD. Now, I hope that video helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.